Hello beautiful and welcome to my channel. My name is Rita Nelly and on this channel I share sewing tutorials and any other kind of creative contents that has to do with sewing. But particularly on this video we're going to make this very sleeve you're seeing on your screen guys. But before we get started if you're new to my channel all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn the notification bell so you can be notified each time I upload a new video. Like share and comment so let's jump straight into the tutorial all right guys for this project we'll be making use of pattern paper and we're going to be using it to cut out one circle we'll be using then it will now serve as a guide for us to cut out the remaining two so guys this is me folding the pattern paper into two and we're still going to fold it again into four boards. Before then, I'm going to take measurement just to make sure it's, it's equal for what I would want. So I already taken five inches and it's okay. Then the extra half inch is going to be for sewing. Then I'm still going to take that same measurement for it to be equal. So I wouldn't want to be wasting my pattern paper not for the essence but for it to be accurate so that's me folding it once it's done then you're going to start your measurement so like i told us that we'll be starting off with five inches and extra half inch for low sewing allowance then i decided to remove the five the half inch and just go with Five inch exactly I'm going to take it brown like so and once I'm done marking it all around I'm going to cut it off so guys this is your complete circle so we're going to use this circle as a guide to cut out the two larger parts. So the what I'm going to do is use that to cut on my fabric once I was done. So this is it. So we're going to use it to cut on the second one. So the second one I'll be making use of my Ankara fabric just to give it a design. So I wouldn't want all the three to be one color. So I decided to use my anchor so this we're going to use the same method fold into two and also fold into four again like we usually did but this one is going to be a little bit longer than the first one with it like about two to three inches depending on how you would want yours to be you can go like say three is okay 2.5 is okay but i took three inches for mine and I also marked it all around it. So once I was done, I went ahead and I cut. So you're going to repeat the same process for the three. So once I was done doing it, this is how I folded it. So that's the anchor. That is my complete circle. And I'm going to fold it as so. Do this for the smaller and for the largest piece. So once you're done folding it like so, you're going to slash it. Slash in between. It's going to serve as the two sleeves once you're done slashing. And you're also going to cut out linings for this piece because you wouldn't want to leave it like this. You would be turning it over. So once I was done cutting the linings, I went ahead and I ironed a gum paper gum specifically or any thick gum that would make your sleeve to stand any thick gum at all of your choice depending on how thick you would want it to stand so once you're done you're going to get your fabric 
and that's lining your iron turn the right sides the right side facing each other and you're going to sew half an inch all the way around i'm showing you on the wrong side so you're going to do that for the three so i've gone ahead to sew all the three sleeves i'll be merging together and and i'm trimming off all the excesses i would have worn for this project there's no how you would sew and not have excesses on your fabric make sure once you're done you trim them off to have a neat work so once i was done trimming off all the, the excesses i won't be needing you're going to notch them all around so you could turn them over once i was done i'm going to notch on my sewing machine flip it over like so like you're seeing on your screen right guys once you're done flipping over you're going to top stitch guys when top stitching make sure you stitch very close to the initial line you made and always maintain a straight line guys when you're at it ensure you pushed all the sewn and notched parts towards your right hand side so you can top stitch on them ensure you push them towards the part you're top stitching on so you could top stitch on them Once you're done doing that, you can go ahead and do the same for the remaining two because it's the same process. So just look at how close it is, how close your notching should be. So guys once you're done you're going to repeat the same process for the remaining two after that you're going to iron them flat and put them together at so the biggest size at beneath the other one follows and the smallest at the neck at the top so you're going to run a three stitch together just to stitch them together So I've gone ahead to stitch them together off camera. You're going to bring them together as so and run a stretch stitch from the initial stitch you'd made. So guys, once that is done, the next thing you're going to do is to attach this to your initial sleeve before you close it up so this part i'm showing you right now is the part you're going to be attaching to your sleeve voila our sleeve is ready so if it wants your sleeve to stand very firm all you need to do is to get a very thicker gum that would hold it very firm or you can double your paper gum so that is this. this part here is where you stitch together with your sleeve and close them up so your sleeve will be standing firm this is very easy guys this is it let me know in the comment section on what you think about this video guys i love to communicate and i will see you guys in my next video bye for now